Welcome to the next part of Beauty and the Beast and in this part, yeah, we go on with... I already showed you in the last part. I like this part. And then we have just some chords. Till this part in um, yeah in, in in today's video, um, but of course um, well not of course but probably I um, have more parts in just one whole video that I don't that you don't have to wait for the uh, for the next uploads. Okay, so let's start with it with the right hand. Um, and what is um, wonderful? This is um, this is our first small melody, and this is something we will repeat um, sometimes in this um, in today's part. And it's very simple, just from D till A, D E F sharp G A, three, four, and the A is a long A, and and we count one, two, D E F sharp G A, two, three, four, one. Two and the same. Two, three, four, one, two. Okay, three times. We played this three times, okay? And from the third time, the A is a bit shorter. Two. And then we go back from A to D. A, G, F sharp, E, D. So from the rhythm it is one, two, 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 and then we have the next part. And then we have a simple D, E, F sharp, D, E. Now we go from the D to left sharp, then D and D. Two, three, four, one, and then we have some chords. Okay, that's it. That's the melody. So again, all together, one, two, two, three, four, one, two. Same. Two, three, four, one. Two, same, but short A, bam, back to D, bam, and our last melody. Okay, that's it. This is the melody. Now let's add some chords because that will make it very special. This is the first part. So we have the melody. On the A, we have the chord F sharp minor, and I like to play it like this. It's a very wide version of it. We have F sharp, F sharp, A, E, A. If you want, you can play also the C sharp. It's a bit fuller, but I like the open version. But as you can see, this is F minor, F sharp minor, seven, and then we just doubling the A and the F sharp. This is the reason why it looks like this, and we leave the C sharp. <laughs> okay. But because um, we know the whole chord, we can play some some filling notes like this. Yeah, here's the C sharp. Is the F sharp minor seven, okay? Again, the whole part, and this is the G chord, G major. I played G, D, A, and D. Well, the A is something 
just I do because I like it. And it's the rest of the chord before. Sometimes I try to to leave single notes from the chord from the um, um, chord um, which was before or for the next chord. But this is also the number nine from G from the G chord, so you can play it with the G. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, G at nine is the official name of this chord, but I like the sound. So the A stays from the F sharp minor. And this is the reason why it looks sounds like this. G, D, A, and D. Okay, this is the first part. Um, yeah, well, we repeat this because we have the same notes. And also the same chords. And now the third time. Also the F sharp minor. We go back the melody from A to D till D. And we have a new chord on the D and this is B minor. Okay, that's it. F sharp, B, D, and here's B. Okay, and then we have, this is the melody. I played with pointer, a middle finger and ring finger. C major, very simple, C, C, G, C, E. And we count, one, two, three, four. Okay, that's it, to this point. And then we have just the chords. So this is G major, G, B, D. In the left hand we have A, because this is G over A. And then we have, this is a sus4 chord, A sus4. A, D, E. And from the D we go to the C sharp. Here's a lot of tension in it and we leave it here. Ah. So again we have G over A. We have A sus for A, D, E. And then the ring finger goes from the D to the middle finger of the C sharp. And then we have a D major chord. D, D, F sharp, A, D. That's it. So the left hand stays on the A and at the end on the D. That's it. And of course, I do my thing with a bum bum. Not only e, well, you can play it like this, but I think it's a bit straight, too a bit too straight, and I love to play it like this, one after the other, right? Also something like this. I double the D. Don't 
forget to bring the melody to the front, play it a bit louder. This one, right? A bit louder than the chord notes. C, two, three, four, now the chords G over A, A sus4, A and D. Yeah. Okay, and that's the next part of Beauty and the Beast. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoy it and uh, that you stay with me in the next part. Okay, let's go on with the next part. Welcome. And in this part, well, we have a solo part. We have um, um, an instrumental part without voice, without singer. Um, yeah, and we ended in the last part here on the D. Right? Um, I think we have the chords. Then we have the D, right? And the D is the first chord of today's part. So we have the D and an instrumental melody in the original, but of course on piano we just have the instrumental melody. So this is a bit challenging, uh, but not too hard. So let's let me show you. Um, so we have D. This is the melody from the beginning, from the first um, verse, but in the D major chord, but so not from the very first beginning, but from the verse. And if you want, you can play. Yeah, but in this time it's not played like this. Um, it's just you play just some chords and and again. So now it's a bit different. We have the D E minor chord. So this till this point it was without voice and we had two times this melody from the last part and again but another chord at the end and this is the transition where the singers came back to the game and with the same melody we have the same melody also from the last video but a small variation but the same chords Okay, um, so I think the challenge is to make the difference between the instrumental part and the um, part where the singer came back to the game. Um, so what what we can do is, for example, to make the to play the melody in the octave in the instrumental part. But let's go step by step. Okay. Just for a short overview for you, what what happens in this part? So we had D major, and then we have the melody. Yeah, it's the same you already know: F sharp, A, C sharp, D, and G. And on the G, we have the G major chord on the right, and the D in the left hand. It's G over D. Three, four, repeat this. Let's go on. This is the same, but now we have the E minor chord on the right hand and the D stays in the left hand. E minor over D. So again, two, three, four. Okay, and then we go on B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp. And the chords are, well, we have the E minor over D here. So we have 
B, C sharp, and now the chord is F sharp major, but with the A sharp in the left hand. Yeah, B flat or A sharp, but better A sharp in, the, in that case. And this is this is the F sharp major chord, but because we have the D as the melody note, we skip the C major. Then B minor. B, B, F sharp, B. If you want, you can play the D as well, or without the D. So again, we had E minor over D. Uh, sorry. T. Again. C sharp <laughs> D E B Okay then we go on the melody goes to the bottom from D till A this is our part from the last part And also with the F, mi mi F sharp minor chord, and also with the G major chord. Then we re repeat the melody, and the chord is the A sus four. A D E A A. This is also what we had in the last part. Okay. So again, from the E minor over D. So there was a um, and okay, this is E minor over D. Two, two, three, four, and A sus four. Okay, just till this point. Okay, so again, the whole part till this point. So in the last um, video we had, um, and now the D. Okay, and this is, um, yeah, this is the instrumental part. Um, well, and this is this is the part, but because I put all in one video, I make just a short break, and then we immediately go on with the next, um, yeah, with the melody, yeah, with the transition, where the singer came back into the game. Okay, so st stay, stay here, please, and I'll uh, see you in just a second. Okay, I'm glad that you're still here. So let's go on. The singer came back into the game. We set it on the ASOS 4. And the melody is the same as before from D till A. D, E, F sharp, G, A. And with the F sharp minor chord. Two, three, four. And usually we could play again. But there's a small variation and it's and I like it. It's B A A G A do, 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 do. So again two three four and G and now the variation B A A G A with the F sharp minor chord and G and again from D till A with the F minor sharp minor chord and now back as we are had it in the um, well, two parts ago 
from A till D. And on the D there's the B minor chord, I hope you remember. And also then we had D, E, F sharp, D, E, and on the E, the C chord. Yeah, this is what we had two parts ago. So uh, uh, there are some chords I will show you in a second. Um, so what I think is very important because we had this in the melody part, in, in the last part. And again, and we say it on the Asus 4. And because the Asus 4 is the transition chord, it has such a special sound. There's, oh, yeah, there, it, it creates a lot of expectation. Yeah, you expectation that there comes something special and there comes and there really comes something uh, thing special because the singers are back at this time. So don't forget, or I highly recommend to, to, yet yeah, to emphasis this um, this transition this expectation with the chord give him a bit more dynamic in like this yeah we don't have much time but try to from this is a bit soft but we can start here singers are back so and this is exactly what I recommend to do so we had this the instrumental part right and then became louder and the last yeah become louder in the in the melody and also the a sus chord put some energy in it and then we are ready. If you can play, this would be great to play just the first melody with the in the octave. Yeah, and this is D E F sharp D A. Yeah, and you don't have to, but you can also add the C sharp or the E. Yeah, these are notes from the chord, and I also maybe you. Um, you notice that I play the bass note one octave lower. This makes it even fatter, even brighter, even mightier the sound. <laughs> also this, you can play it with the octave as well but it's okay without. Okay, um, but it's fine because there's a variation in the melody. I usually play it here. So it's like this, I play my slow. But even loud. Okay. From A till D, I don't just play la da 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 da. I bring a bit rhythm in it. La da la da da. La da da da. And there's still energy in it. For I I just I went a bit down with the energy, but now I'm back because the C major chord is also very dramatic. One, two, three, four. Okay, and this is what we're doing. One, two, three. On the four, the left hand goes from the C till B flat. Then the next one is F over A. 
F major chord, A, C, F, and here's the A. And then we have the G, uh, sorry, the C over D. And back to the C in the right hand, and the left hand is D. The C chord C, E, G, and here the G as well. So we have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And as you can feel, there will come something bright in the next part. And this is where we go on. But let me play um, the whole part from today again. Um, so we had the is just the instrumental part, the calm one, but then we get louder the aces for Yeah, and then we go on with the next bright part. Um, yeah, in the next part. So I'm looking forward to see you there again. Bye. Welcome to the next part of Beauty and the Beast. And we go on. We had um, in the last video, we had the very dramatic ending. Well, it was not really an ending, just the transition for today's part. Um, I think it was one, two, three. There was a lot of tension for today's G major chord. And this is the beginning from the next verse, but in a new key. At the very beginning we had the F major. Later we had the D major scale. And today we have the G major scale. That's it. And the funny thing is we are we will change this the the key, the scale again from this part. But first of all, let's stay here. So this is the worst. You you usually you can know it, but of course it's another key and it's I think it's better that we have a look at it. So we have the G major chord, G B G D. The melody is sharp G C and the chord from from the C is the C major chord E G C and the the um, well not the real melody but um, the, the instrumental melody is G D, B. So again, just loop this. Um, just to <laughs> it's funny the, the there was a sound mistake on the G <laughs> okay it doesn't matter um, 
So this is a good way to um, to learn it, just to loop it, to repeat it again and again, of course. Um, and then we go on the last word, the G. Yeah, it's the same, but a very um, a slightly other melody. B, D, F sharp, G, A, Lom, bom, ba, da, da, bom. But the chords are the same. The C chord here, C chord, I just play C and E over G, and the A is the melody. can play bum, 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 bum. the same melody as before so all together that's it okay the left hand stays all the time on the G and then so we can focus on the right hand Okay, then we go on. This is from G till D. And there we have the G chord, G, B, D over D. So, again. Then we go back. down and this is so this is um, a B chord D sharp F sharp and B this is the original version but we play the B over there and the melody is D From D till A, and from D till G even. But on the G we have the new chord, the E minor chord. So let's have a look at this. You can even play it so straight, like this, or with the rhythm, straight. Wham, bam, 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 bam. Rhythm Wham, bam, ba, da, da. and both with a with a melody before. La, da, 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 da. Yum, bam, ba, da, da. Again. Again. Ah, uh, sorry. Okay, okay. Then we have the same as we already had, but of course from another key. I play C, B, A, G, E, and then you remember at the beginning we had. This note, but now we have one key higher. F sharp, E, D. And this is. And this is the C chord, C major. And D major. Also play E and G to fill up the melody with chord notes. So again, from the part before, then B, E 
minor and now again and this is today's part and just a short preview we have again a verse but the next key is E <laughs> E major and then we have nearly the same but but everything in another scale yeah so we have to, just to transpose the things yeah but more in detail in the next lesson let me play today's part completely again um Okay, yeah, then we go on and I'm sure you will be there again because when you made it to this point, we, yeah, we, you will have a lot of fun in the next part. So see you there. Thank you very much for being here.